Hello, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who's lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. And today I'm doing something a little bit different. Actually, this is a video you guys have been asking for for a long, long, long time. And that is my nighttime routine. What do I do at the end of the day to wind down? What does that look like? What kind of self care do I do? What does my nighttime routine look like? So tonight you're gonna get ready for bed with me. We are going to do a full night time routine video. I want to do this a little bit more aesthetic. So I'm probably going to be adding some music to the video. Just make it a make it calming and relaxing, which is exactly what I like to do before bed. I like to set myself up for proper sleep by relaxing. So if you're excited to finally see my nighttime routine, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on because I upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Definitely recommend those personalized macros and calories. That's what I followed to lose my 140 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into my nighttime routine. not washing my hair tonight. I just washed my hair yesterday and I do only wash my hair about once a week. I have pretty dry hair so it's better for me to really only wash my hair once a week or so. So I am going to go ahead and pop it. I'm going to throw it up in a ponytail. I also sleep with my hair in a ponytail and then I just use a shower cap when I'm taking just a body shower but today we're doing the full shower. I'm going to exfoliate, shave and then when we get out of the shower we're going to self tan. I do like to self tan once every Every couple of weeks. Usually my tan will last about a week, week and a half, and I just feel better when I'm a little bit more tan. So I'm going to show you my tanning routine as well. And when I tan, I always exfoliate. I exfoliate my entire body before I self tan. That way we get off any rough, bumpy skin, any excess lingering tan from the tan before. I'm going to use exfoliating shower towel. This is actually from the brand Sema, and this is a Japanese exfoliating shower towel. I love these. I have a couple of them. These are nice big exfoliating towel so I'm actually able to exfoliate my back as well because I do tan my back and you can see that they do have the exfoliating texture to the towel it's very lightweight, very nice quality, and these do an amazing job with exfoliation. They're gentle even on sensitive skin. Exfoliates dead skin cells and stimulates cell growth and prevents odor and bacteria. So I would much rather use this than a loofah. You don't wanna know about a loofah. This definitely is going to prevent any bacteria growth and keep it nice and sanitary. And then I use the Sema body wash as well. This stuff is amazing. This is their charcoal body wash for rough, bumpy skin with salicylic acid. So if you are acne prone, at all on your back or your skin, the salicylic acid in this is going to be extremely beneficial. And this paired with the exfoliating Sema cloth is perfection for exfoliation and cleansing. So we're going to use both of these today. Exfoliating cloth is silver infused bamboo cloth for radiant skin. Kills 99.9% .9 bacteria, removes dead cells, stimulates fresh cell turnover. It actually lasts 20% longer than regular loofahs. It's quick drying and resistant to mildew and odors. It's ideal for hard to reach areas, gentle on sensitive skin. shower and I love this shower wrap. I actually got this off of Amazon. It has Velcro right here. It comes in a small through large and in plus size and then I got the one that says fits everybody or one size and it's a little bit big on me but the Velcro is all the way across the top and it, 
I use it to dry off and then I also use it while I do my skincare and while I self tan. So I really love this. It comes in multiple uh, different prints. You can see that it's a waffle type of material. And again, I bought it off of Amazon, so I'll link it for you. I feel so good after exfoliating. I'm telling you that SEMA exfoliating towel makes it so simple. I was actually able to do my back and I am fully exfoliated and ready for tanning. So I'm going to use my Sephora eye makeup remover. This is my Holy Grail eye makeup remover. And I just like to get any excess makeup off around my eyes. That seems to be the area when I wash my face in the shower that I often have a little bit of extra product. And I did use an exfoliator from, me, from Kate Somerville, the Exfolicate. It's a great exfoliator and then you leave it on for a couple of minutes and it serves as a face mask. And it always makes my skin feel so clean, but kind of tight. I do have normal to dry skin, more on the normal side. I don't have oily skin at all, not even in my T-zone. So I like the Exfolicate because it exfoliates and then it does leave my skin feeling really clean, really, really clean. And then I go in with my skincare. I want to do a morning routine as well because I have a pretty solid morning routine. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. Next, I'm going in with my Ren Skincare Toner. I always use a toner. Toner balances the pH in your skin and allows it to absorb the skincare even more. I actually use this Ren Toner in the morning and at night. And this is the Strivectin Advanced Hydration Lactic Acid Nightly Serum. I like the Strivectin brand a lot because it's designed specifically for anti-aging. And I'm 48, so any aging I can combat, I love to do. So I go ahead and tap that into my skin. You do want to make sure when you're using a retinol or an anti-aging serum, to avoid the eye area. And I do like to bring that down my neck and onto my decollete. For lash serum, I've been using Grande Lash MD. I love this. It's really helped my lashes grow a lot. And what I do is I just apply it right onto my lash line. And I do this at night. That way it has the opportunity to sit on my lashes all night. And it has definitely made my lashes grow a lot. They're thicker, they're darker, they've definitely grown. And then this is my favorite nighttime eye cream. This is from Biosance, and this is the Squalene Marine Algae Eye Cream. Amazing, amazing for anti-aging. And make sure when you're applying eye cream that you're putting it on your eyelid and above your lid and then bringing that all the way out to the side just to combat those wrinkles. This is the area that I notice that I aged a lot is around my eyes. I get a lot of fine lines and wrinkles and this eye cream is fantastic. And then for moisturizer, again, I'm using Strivectin. This is the Advanced Retinol Nightly Renewal Moisturizer. This actually has retinol, retinol, and NIU, NIA114. So really, really great for anti-aging. For me, because I don't have sensitive skin, I can actually use this every night. If you have a little bit more sensitive skin, I would stick with retinol maybe three or four days a week. But for me, I'm actually, like I said, able to use it nightly. And I like to bring again that down my neck and onto my decollete. So those are the products I've been using for my nighttime skincare. I always wake up and my skin feels very hydrated and very nice. Also off camera, I'm going to apply my bio oil. This is what I've been using on my scars from my cosmetic surgery. So I put this on my chest scar, my breast scars as well as on my back. And then for tanner, I've been loving this one. This is from the brand St. Moritz and this is the tanning mousse in dark. And then I just use a tanning mitt. It is hard for me to get my back without Troy, but I do my best just to reach around and get my back the best that I can. So I just pump some of the tanner on my tanning mitt and then I just blend it into my skin. I always do two coats of the tanner. So I blend it in the best that I can, allow it to dry for just a few minutes and then I'll go in with a second amount of the tanner. Now, I do not tan my hands. A lot of people do. I don't tan my hands. I find that it wears off very, very quickly, and I think it looks pretty patchy. I also do not tan my face, and I know that there's a lot of people who will tan their face. I will, however, tan my neck up to my chin, and then I just blend my foundation in to match my tan.
apparently these two are ready for bed. Are you ready for bed? Palmer, are you cozy on my pillows? I mean, really? I mean, really. I also like to spray myself with some perfume before bed, so I'm using the Dossier Fruity Orange, which is the replication of Clinique Cathy. I just like to smell good when I'm cuddling up for bed. So the last thing I do when I get out of the shower, I typically would lotion my body, and right now I'm using this frosting lotion from Ulta Beauty from their Wim brand. But since I self-tanned, I don't actually lotion up. I, I want my tan to really settle into my skin, but I always, always use the Heal Genius Foot Cream from Soap and Glory. I love, love, love this stuff. It has really changed the game with my feet. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of that to my feet. And then I always use some type of lip balm or lip oil. Right now I'm using the lip balm from Trader Joe's. This is their minty one, like a eucalyptus. I love it. 